From out of the West comes Red Rider, America's famous fighting cowboy. <laughs> Oh, that pony, little people. They've held up the Millersville trade, and we've got to get on their trail. You betcha, Meg Ryder. Get along. Get them up. Get. Get going, Thunder. Ride on, cowboy. Adventures of Red Rider. with Jane Bruce has grown for Red Rider into a strange problem. Who's trying by robbery and murder to put the Bruce Freighting Company of Millersville out of business? Involved are Jane and her father, John Bruce, Ace Hanlon, and Bert Parks, a young man fresh from the East whom Red extricated from Hanlon's card sharps just as they were about to take his money. Now, in Millersville, just as the sheriff inquired into the latest killing of a Bruce Company driver... Red finds himself accused of that very murder. A mob has appeared to get him outside the Bruce Fighting office. Where's that redhead? Are you coming peaceable, redhead? We'll give you a fair trial. Looks that way, doesn't it? Red, don't walk out there. Don't, please. They'll kill you. I'll growl with you, Red. They won't hurt you. Thanks, Quentin Jane. But you all better stay in this room and duck in just about 30 seconds. Because I'm going to try to talk my way out of this. And if it doesn't work, things won't be peaceable. Red! Where's little Beaver? Well, I, I don't know. He was here a minute ago. All right, never mind. All right, hombre. You're stepping out on that porch with me. Just don't reach for your guns, because it won't be healthy. Come on, down them steps. Hasn't a man anything to say in his own defense? Then you'll listen anyway. I'm going to have my say, and then you can get me. If I don't get you first, you say that I killed Dave Small. If any of you had an ounce of sense, you'd see that you've been egged on by somebody to turn attention from himself. A rifle bullet killed Dave Small as he drove the Bruce Freighton wagon from here to Devil's Hole. And I haven't carried a rifle for weeks. Oh, what do you mean, you I'm not arguing. I'm telling you something to your faces. You're a pack of fools. I've seen mobs before. And so have you. They don't just grow. They're started. Can anybody out there tell me who put the idea into your heads that I killed Dave Small? Nobody, huh? Well, I'll tell you. He's across the street leaning against that hitching rail. Oh, Ace Hanlon. Ace Hanlon. Proprietor of the Silver Dollar Cafe. And the store and everything else at Devil's Hole. Oh, Ace Hanlon. Somebody ask him what he's doing in Millersville. Somebody ask him who paid Jeff Pearsall to pretend like there was a holdup of a Bruce wagon outside of Devil's Hole day before yesterday. Uh Ask him why he's so worried about me being mixed up in this. Then ask him what he's got against the Bruce Freighton Company, founded and kept going for years by John Bruce when he didn't, when it didn't pay a dime. And hopes that someday it would amount to something. Well, yeah, well, no, they're they're not now. I'll answer those questions, people of Millersville. And gladly. I'm here because I'm a businessman. Because the only way I could get freight and mail to Devil's Hole is through the Bruce Company. And I'm sick of having shipments delayed and my stuff stolen. I never paid a man to fake a hold up in my life. That's a lie he can't prove. Well, I haven't anything against Bruce. But I say that if he can't protect his shipments, he hasn't any right to be in business. Yeah, that's right. As for this Red Rider, it's about time folks around here realize that for the past year, 
Hasn't been one bit of trouble around here he wasn't mixed up in. And I see that where there's smoke, there's a fire. Red, get out of here. Furthermore, I'm here. I'll cover your retreat. I told you to get back there with Jane and her father. I won't do it. That coward sheriff disappeared out the back window. Ain't nobody but you got nerve in this country? I can't prove it. What's that? Now, what's the little beaver up to? Hey, hey, that Indian kid pal of yours going crazy, redhead. Here he comes with your horse and his pony. Galloping to beat the cards toward us down the street. Little Beaver, Little Beaver, don't come near here. Look at the crowd. All tangled up in the mud. Did you see that bird? For Pete's sake, Little Beaver tied a rope between the two horses, trailed it on the ground, and tipped the whole bunch. <laughs> oh, mother, this is rich. Here he comes back. Little Beaver, that's enough. Grab cool him up and mud. Me bring him good help this time. Oh, you sure did, little beaver. You brought good help this time. Now cut that rope out from the crowd before somebody really gets hurt. You, Bert, keep him covered. I will. All right, now just calm down. Get up out of that mud and reach for the sky. You'll pay for this someday, Red Rider. I'll be glad to pay. It's been worth it. Just reach for the sky. Stand it. Yeah, that's better. I've got a hunch your feelings about me have kind of cooled down. So I reckon you can all go. Even you, Hanlon. And I'd suggest a shower bath in your case. Uh, all right, come on, Bert. Little Beaver, back into the office. By jings, I wish one of them had started something. And they feel I'm cooler now. No danger. That's right. There'll be no trouble now. Red! Oh, I can't believe you're walking in here alive. Not only alive, but kicking. Thanks to Little Beaver. Me knock a mace hammer in mud. You betcha. him. Little Beaver, you sure did. Red, I think my hair turned two shades gray than it is, seeing you out there standing off that mob and hearing that dirty lion skunk of an ace Hammond saying what he did. Jane can tell you I had my rifle up, ready to start shooting if that mob so much as moved toward you. And you'd have gotten into the same kind of trouble if you had. Well. Now listen, everybody. It's plain as daylight that Ace Hanlon's at the bottom of this. Well, sure he is. But can we prove it? That's the question. Well, we know what Ace has tried to do, don't we? We know but that all he... that's not proof, daughter. Red's right. For one thing, where's his motive? You're sure you can't think of any reason why he'd want you out of business, Mr. Bruce? Yeah, he shouldn't want to crowd me the law for the money and freighting. But so far, there ain't been hardly any. I wonder what it could be. Yeah, it beats me. Oh, by the way, Ryder, what about that job you talked about? That's right. I almost forgot. I met Bert here under rather peculiar circumstances in Devil's Hole. Now, he needs a job. I'll tell you the circumstances. I had $3,000, and he saved my life before I lost it. The money, too. He says he's driven a stage. Want a trustworthy man? <laughs> Do I? You're hired, son. Gee, thanks, Mr. Bruce. I don't know as I'll be able to pay as regular as I'd like, but uh, I'll sure try. Count me in, Mr. Bruce. Oh, Mr. Park. You can't know what that means to us. Gee, can't everybody just call me Bert, sort of? You don't have to be so polite. <laughs> well, Bert, my boy... Someday I'll make this up to you. Just when, I don't know, but I will. When'd you like me to start, Mr. Bruce? Well, Bert, I've got a wagon scheduled to go for Templeville tomorrow morning at daybreak. You want to try taking that wagon in? A couple of stacks of mail and some merchandise for the general store? I'd sure like to try. Well, then you're hired, son. Gee, thanks. And thanks to you, too, Red, for putting in a good word. Well, now we got everything fixed. Guess little Beef and I'd better mosey on back to Painted Valley Ranch. Oh, oh, Red... So soon? Reckon the Duchess will be needing me about tomorrow, Jane. Gee, why do you have to go, Red? Well, Red, I thought... Yes, Jane? What did you think? Well, all these strange things happening to us, I thought... Well, I thought you were interested in solving them. Sorry, Jane. I'll try to be back in Millersville maybe about the middle of next week. Oh, Red! Oh, now, Janie, maybe Red's got business elsewhere. He can't be expected to solve all our problems but... for us. So, uh, so long, Bert. Glad to have met you. Red, thanks for all you've done for me. And thanks for... Where are we going now, Red Rider? Well, we're camping here for the night. Up here on Mountain Cove. 
We're up here on the cold mountain because down below us is the highway leading to Templeville. Me catch him. You watch him, Bert Parks, driving team. You got the idea. You follow what might happen to Bert when he starts out driving that wagon bright and early tomorrow morning. Now maybe Red Rider find a mark what ha- matter. Maybe. So let's get what sleep we can. We'll be cold and hungry enough before dawn. You came in and reported to me. Now listen, Mr. Hanley, you see Find how... Find you ought to throw away money on. Sit down. Don't talk too loud. This hotel's walls wasn't built to deaden sound. Gosh, Mr. Hanley, we had that redhead when that engine kid come along with them two horses and that rope and yeah, then he was... and there we all were in the mud like pigs. Now listen, I don't intend to have this matter drag out to the point where my part in it comes out, Understand? I've just heard that Bert Parks is going to work for the Bruces and is taking the Templeville wagon tomorrow morning, leaving at 4 a.m. That's bad. It means another driver we're not sure of. Well, uh, could we get the way sleeping and, uh, you know... Uh... Yeah, and have the whole business really rouse the country? No, thanks. This has got to be method number three. And I don't want it to fail. Oh, I, I tell you that this time... Never I'll... mind the promises. Do it. Y- yes, Mr. Hanlon. Wagon come now. I'm up road. See him? It's about time. This air up here is making me starve. And look him. Oh. Two men with rifles. They wait. Stay right here. But they hold him up. You no stop him? If only I could be sure he wouldn't be killed. Come on, Red Rider. Save him. I told you to stay here. Now, this time I want to see what they do with that stuff they steal. Now they step him out. Say him, hands up. Bert, Bert, don't be foolish and start shooting. Oh, good. He put his hands up. Now they bring another wagon. It's the same thing they've always done. They'll take that stuff out of the Bruce wagon and put it into theirs. Get your horse. We've got to be ready to follow them. That's funny. Red, we crazy. If you see the same thing I see, we're not crazy. We follow men who steal them from Bruce Wagon. We see them now what they do. I thought that by following them, I'd be led to where they hide the stuff that they steal from the Bruce Freighting Wagon. Or the man who receives it. But I never expected this. Throw the stuff away and into the river. I haven't cleared up a bit of this mystery, Little Beaver. In fact, I've made it worse. We return to the adventures of Red Rider in just a moment. freighting company, and Red Rider thought that he would follow the men he and Little Beaver saw hold Bert up and force his load, and so solve the mystery of what has been happening, as well as Ace Hanlon's part in the series of recent attempts to put the Bruce Company out of business. Instead, the mystery deepened. The hold-up men took the stolen goods and dumped them into a nearby river. Back in Millersville, Bert Parks now stands in the Bruce offices waving his arms. There I was, driving the wagon pretty as you please on the road to Templeville when... 
I guess it was about 5.30, it happened. 